Emmy, the new transfer student's gonna be sitting next to you, right? Hey, she looks pretty cool, don't you think? Cool? I don't see it. Look! She's helping Molly clean the blackboard. She's so nice! And so tall! She's even taller than my neighbor! And my neighbor's already 11. <laughs> tall. I'm tall. <laughs> so why is she in elementary school? You know what I think? I think she didn't go on to middle school, cuz... She's an idiot. You damn brats! Just you wait! Good morning, my dear human children! It's snack time! We've got pineapple buns today! Thank you, Miss Grace! Who the hell is that? Right, right. Uh, there's something else I need to tell you all. We are having a field trip soon! We're going to Lumina Square, kids, and we're even doing a choir. So, are you all excited? So, you both decided to infiltrate the school to investigate a hollow in disguise? I thought this was some sort of prank show. I never understood the point of those shows. Of course it's for official business. Okay, starting from the top. Hey! Don't look bored already! I'll make it short. Bellabog took a job to renovate that elementary school, the one you saw in the video. When construction was finished, I went to check the site and found that there was a new companion hollow nearby. The hollow is located in the abandoned parking lot just outside the construction area. It appeared recently, and if it's not contained, it might expand to the school. We've been talking with the school's principal. I told him it's best to report the hollow to the city administration so they could deal with it. And you're coming to us because the city can't deal with it, aren't you? Hmm, it hasn't gotten that bad yet. From what I've seen of its size, if the association sent someone, they should be able to deal with it. But that's what's weird. The principal didn't report the hollow and didn't apply for hollow compensation either. He paid the rest of our fee the very next day. I've never seen a single client who doesn't drag their feet when it comes to payments. It's almost as if they want to get Bellabog out of their hair. Well... If we're going by normal industry practices, we'd have no reason to dig into this. After construction has been fully completed and inspections have been passed, Bellabog holds no responsibility for any future impact caused by hollows. Even if the hollow really did end up affecting the school, this clause can protect Bellabog from all consequences and responsibilities. However, if that really ends up happening, the students and the teachers of that school may find themselves in danger. I get it now. And you aren't the type to just stand by and let this happen. That's right, Belle. You hit the nail on the head, as expected. For uh, certain reasons, Grace and I had to infiltrate the school in disguise to get access to the only entrance to the Hollow. Anton helped us find some connections, and I left the daily operations to Ben, 
My responsibilities I've just been handling at night. Anyway, we finally found the opportunity we needed during the field trip to Lumina Square in a few days. All the students and teachers will leave the school and head to the square. Even if the hollow gets out of control, we can make sure as few people as possible are at risk. So, that's the situation. Belle, Wise, I assume you're going to take the commission? How's Eos doing? Is your brother taking good care of that little cutie? I got my hands on some amazing lubricant from the outer ring. If you put some into the bamboo's base, it can drip out of the eyes. How about Eos give it a go? Hey, aren't you a teacher right now? Did you leave your character along with that dress at home? Oh my, I almost forgot. So, little Kaleida, how about you call me Teach and help me get back into character? <sighs> Miss Grace, there's three students hiding because they had a fight. If we don't find them, we can't do the choir. Well, that just won't do. Unfortunately, Miss Grace still has some stuff to take care of, all right? So can Coleta go and find them with this pro uh, with this young lady? If you manage to find them, then... As a reward, Ms. Grace will give you the hammer she forged at a university internship. Wh what Shouldn't you give out a, a star sticker or snacks or something? I'll take the hammer for my brother. So long as you find those three kids and convince them to come back to join the choir, you can have whatever you want. The only entrance to the hollow is in the abandoned parking lot near the school. We've already confirmed that the keys to the parking lot are with the principal. Usually, we wouldn't get a chance to get near him. But today, the principal will come to see the choir. While his attention is on the performance, we can figure out a way to steal his keys. So the only way to obtain the keys is to ensure the choir goes ahead with no issues. That's why we need to deal with those three little ones who had an argument. Can I leave this to you? Well, I guess we have to. I'll wait for the good news then. Little Kaleida, Ms. Grace is appointing you as the leader of your little team. Who the hell wants to be the leader of a team with just one member?
Pan? Lisa? I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Your fault? It's not like you need stupid friends like us. Once you're at that rich kid's school, you can probably get better friends. Come on now. If you're afraid of Emmy getting taken away by new friends, you should transfer with her. It's not that simple. Wait, no! Then we'll be leaving you all alone. I don't want that. That wouldn't be okay? It's not okay. Hey, calm down. Lisa was just joking. Even if I transfer, we'll still be BFFs. Just like the fish in the boat. Even though the boat went to the water park, it was still the fish's best friend, right? Wait, didn't you say you thought those lyrics were stupid? Uh, they are. Uh. But not as stupid as me. I was so stupid that I didn't tell you about something as important as transferring schools, because I was so scared I'd make you too mad. Hemi, you aren't stupid. You're the coolest kid I know. I love being your friend. Hmm, well, even though the new transfer student, Kolita, is pretty cool, I like Dan and Emmy the most. Ugh, don't bring up that imposter. Ooh, is Emmy jealous? Uh, uh, hey, um, Miss Grace says we need to get to the choir. Uh-oh, it looks like she heard you. <laughs> Nope, I didn't hear anything. I wouldn't care even if I did. I have more important things to worry about than my popularity among some little kid. Oh, fudge. The principal. I I'm gonna hide for now, Proxy. Could you head over to the choir and check on things in a bit? Thanks to you all, the choir is back to business. Now for the key. The principal sure is immersed in the singing. I just checked. He put his keys in his pocket. Now we just need to carefully approach him. Give me a signal for when I should strike. Ah, not bad. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm, beautiful singing, yes. Now, Grace. Here goes. <sighs> he bent down to kick some dust off his shoes. Is that really necessary? It's not like he's heading into a lab. Good. Very good. Mm, everyone is in sync. Now. Ah, I got it. Oh, wait. No. Drat, it slipped out of my grasp. Ugh, why didn't Anton let me bring that magnetic arm? What's with these lyrics? Okay, now. All right, got it. Huh? Miss Grace? W why are you so close? You weren't this outgoing during the interview. Uh, I, well. Mr. Principal. Oh, Emmy, good job just now. Thank you. Um, you know your clothes are dirty? They're covered in dust. I think Miss Grace just wanted to help you dust them off. Hmm? Dust? Oh, this dust. I, um, accidentally got it on me. Uh, yes, it's, it's chalk. I accidentally got chalk on me. As a principal, it's normal for there to be chalk on my clothes. It would be stranger if there wasn't any chalk. Uh... On the other hand, Miss Grace, your outfit is strange. As a teacher and, and a model to your students, what do you have to say for yourself? Oops, <laughs> sorry. Guess I won't wear it again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Although your outfit lacks sophistication, as a new teacher, this field trip of yours was quite a success. We must view these things in separation. Nothing is just black or white. Most of us are shades of gray. All right, I have other things to do now. Miss Grace, I shall leave the children to you. Please bring them back to school safely. This 
guy's like a broken water pump with all the meaningless noise he makes. Belle, I've given the key to Kaleida. She's headed off to get Anton and Ben for the next part of the plan. You should head back and prepare. She'll be in contact soon.